All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the program. It's our weekend update from Hall Around Town Radio. We're live in the studio here in beautiful downtown Springboro. How good to have you with us today. But let me talk about uh, Saturday at Heather's. The gamut. First time. Oh, I, I'm going to sum it up in two words. Hell yes. The gamut. What a tight band. Amazing band with absolutely stellar vocals from Albina. I think it's Anakin if I say it right. Albina Anakin. She wowed me. Uh, she did. And I hear a lot of vocalists and I'm telling you, she could sing. She could sing. And uh, let me see what Steve's saying here. Albina is one of the best female vocalists in the area. Oh, yeah. And and they are a class act, too. The band's a class act. Uh, really good stuff. And uh, Heather said the gamut was unbelievable. And, yeah, I put that on our page when I posted the pictures. Did you see the pictures I got, Heather? I got some good pictures of them there uh, at your place the other night. And, uh, John, it was a pleasure to talk to you and the band members. And let me say... You know, Albina was great on vocals, but this band is vocally deep as well. They've got uh, some great singers back there behind Albina on, that's front in that band. And one thing about her, she never stopped moving. Even when it wasn't her turn to sing, she was moving, man. She she had more energy than I have. And uh, Ed, I know that meant to be the gamut, not the hammock. But yeah, I'd like to have a hammock right now. Could you get me one of those? I mean, I'd go out and lay outside in it. But uh, yeah, John said, yes, she's one of the best. And uh, there's Bill's lineup, who he got to see, Mojo Rising, all that great band there as well. And uh, Heather said they are top-notch tight group. They are. And we had Mark, um, and I think it's Glavicki. Is that how we say that? Glavicki? Mark Glavicki on keyboards. Gary Wilhite. I'm 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 struggling with these names. Will Height on drums. John Dale, that's an easy one on bass. Aaron Henning on guitar. Wow, Aaron. Wow. I, I just gotta say wow again. Aaron blew me away with his guitar skills. I mean, like I said, the band musically is tight, tight, tight. Great band. But Aaron, uh, he he yeah, he can play. Aaron can play. That boy can play. And uh, I, I'm going to say uh, the the band back there just, they didn't miss a beat, literally. I mean, everything was perfect. And the sound was wonderful. And uh, yeah, kilowatt on sound and harmonic I missed. I didn't get to see that part at the end. But let me give you some songs this band did. Uh, they did some really killer stuff. And I enjoyed, well, they had me at Vehicle by the Ides of March, 70s tune. I mean, one of my favorite songs of all time. Uh, you know, just a fantastic song. But uh, Heartbreaker, Hit Me With Your Best Shot, kind of a, a mashup there that they did. Uh, Crossfire, oh my, that was good. Roll With The Changes, love that tune. It's My Life, Bon Jovi, Alone, My Heart. Uh, Shut Up and Dance, Uptown Funk, Smokin', Boston. Uh, Faithfully, uh, you know, like I said, the band is so deep vocally and uh, they're perfect on music and Aaron's guitar work left me wanting so much more of this band. And I I just couldn't let Ray Renee down, who was right up the street as well, because I had to go see her. She's done so much for our show as uh, with social media and helping us out. And I had to get in there to see her. I hadn't had a chance to catch her full band act yet. I've seen racing a lot, but uh, really had a great time uh, getting in there and uh Yes, Heather says, let's not forget the sound man. And that's who we were talking about there. Kilowatt on sound and their sound was perfect. Uh, the sound was really good. And uh, she said that was uh, fun for him to get up there and play as well. Heather said, Heather, I know we were sitting there together and she loved this band. And, uh, you know, you got to make the owners happy. You do. And they made her happy. She was smiling from ear to ear. And what a nice crowd it was, too. It was a good crowd that night because there's so much going on in the summer to compete with. Uh, every venue struggles sometimes with the summer stuff because there's so many outdoor free shows that go on that the city's put on. Don't get me started on that one because I still have a little bit of a heartburn over the uh, municipalities putting all these free shows on for everybody, which cuts into the businesses that are in their community, you know, their, their crowds, so who only have a limited time to make these 
big cash money to try to survive for the year. And believe me, any bar owner you think's rich, you're crazy. They're not rich. They're working hard for it and they're doing everything they can do. Heather's going to plead the fifth on that one. I don't have to plead the fifth because I don't have to be nice. and They don't do much for me in this town, so I can just say what I want to say. And not that they wouldn't, but I just don't reach out to them for that because I, I hate the fact that you know, there's tax dollars going into that and the, the security and the people they put on and all those things. And then some of them build little gazebos and things to play in different places that support one business. You know, business is getting free music and that's a whole nother story. So I'll, I won't get on a soapbox. I'll be nice about that. But John, you're on here. I know Aaron's on here. Thank you so much uh, for the hospitality coming over and saying hi the other night. We thoroughly enjoyed your show, and we will be back to see another one. The Gamut, guys. If you haven't followed The Gamut, G-A-M-U-T, 